home to St. Francis Xavier, the oldest Catholic church in the original 13 colonies. My name is Father Rob Morrow, and I'm the pastor here. I wanted to take this opportunity to wish each and every one of you a very joyous and blessed Easter. We've all felt how difficult it's been with the restrictions we've had to endure from the coronavirus. So it's all the more important for me to take this opportunity to greet you personally and thought it would be fun to invite you into one of the homes of our parishioners, Marianne and Peter Laporte, as my personal chef, Ruby Lamel, will give me a cooking lesson on how we can make some fun appetizers and desserts to make our Easter meal all the more joyous and festive. Please join me as we go to the home of Peter and Marianne Laporte. I'd like to introduce to you my personal chef, Ruby Lamel. Ruby has 40 years of experience as a chef and a cook. She's a degreed culinarian. From her education comes from St. Mary's County Tech Center and the University of Southern Mississippi. And it's a great joy to have Ruby here today. She, yes, Father. So good to be with Rob. you, Ruby. And yes. um, Ruby, I can tell you from the time I've had uh, have her working for us at St. Francis Xavier, she loves cooking. Yes. And she does a lot of volunteer work for the Catholic Church. And so it's a real joy to make these recipes today. So Ruby, why don't you tell us, what are we going to do for our, our recipes? Today, we're going to have lamb kebab. And that consists of zucchini, cocktail onions, white and purple. And Father is going to demonstrate from start, start, from to, start finish. to finish. And right. this is the pattern that I have assembled that we will be using. Right. So this will be our appetizer. And then later, we're going to make a dessert. And we're going to leave the entree up to you to figure out yes. what you'd like for so, that. Uh, We've got to start here, Ruby. What's, what will be step one in okay, putting this together? Okay, step one, would you, you assemble it with your lamb. Mm -hmm. So we take the lamb and we chop it up? Cube it. Oh, cube it. You okay. cube it. Okay. Your lamb. And is there a specific type of lamb we need to get? or? Well, just a What do rack, we look for in the store? A rack of lamb. A rack of lamb, mm -hmm. okay. So we're going to get a rack of lamb. We're going to cube it. Okay, and this is already season it. cubed. Uh -huh. Yes, and we're going to season it. Okay. And I'm assembling it right, right. now. Why don't, I, why don't I get yes. started here? Mm -hmm. I'm going to follow your lead yes, sir. here. So we're going to, this comes, as you can see, it's already cubed. cubed. And how do we season it? What are we doing to okay. season it? Garlic, pepper, olive oil, and rosemary. Okay, everybody Good. got that? Mm -hmm. And how do we season it? What are we going to do? You just put your olive oil and the ingredients, the garlic pepper, a little sea salt, uh -huh. and your rosemary, your fresh rosemary, uh -huh. and you allow that to marinate. Okay, and how long would we let that marinate for? Overnight. I allow this to marinate overnight. Okay. Okay, do you have that, Father? I got that, yep. Okay, uh -huh. and then we're going to put another piece of lamb. Okay, and just push it down. And just push it down, and there okay. we are. All right, great. So we end with a piece of lamb. Yes. In between, okay. There you are. And so the fun part of making these type of meals is that you can tie in a religious meaning to your Easter dinner. And so I wanted to say that we chose the lamb kebabs for that reason, that the lamb kebabs are a reminder to us of the Passover uh, that is told in the book of Exodus when the Israelite people uh, were, were getting ready to flee Egypt during that tenth plague because of the hardness of Pharaoh's heart. The Lord sent the plague of the angel of death killing the firstborn sons of all the people in Egypt. And the only way to avoid that was they would have to, according to the Lord's instructions in the book of Exodus, they would go out and get an unblemished lamb. They would slaughter that lamb and they would mark the doorposts of their homes with the Lamb's blood. Mm -hmm. And that would be a foreshadowing of Christ, who is the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world for us. And as the Israelite people were, were hoping to avoid bodily death because of what they did in the Passover, Christ's blood shed for us on the cross as the Lamb of God is a help to us in avoiding eternal death. And that's what we're celebrating as we 
make this this wonderful appetizer. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, we are. Okay. Okay, great. So And we'll serve it with mint jelly sauce. Uh-huh. And an over brown rice. Okay, wow. And what is the mint jelly sauce it's do mint, for it? It's, is it just, kind of like to counterbalance the Yes, sir. And and it it's really simple. You just take the mint jelly and liquefy it. All right, there we are. You can add one more. Yes, sir. On there. there okay. We go. Here we there go. There we are. All right, so we're ready to put these in the oven? Yes, sir, we are. Okay. And how much olive oil do you put in the baking dish? I put one capful of olive oil mm -hmm. in okay. the baking dish. Okay. In one preparation to get them to go in the oven and a part of the seasoning. Okay, great. All right. Well, we're going to follow Ruby over to the oven here and let me get the oven door. We'll pop that in. And this is going to go in for how long, Ruby? For half hour. Okay. At 350. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to make the rice to go with the kebabs. Yes. And so Ruby's boiled some, getting some water boiled. Correct. And how much water do we have in there, Ruby? This is two cups of water to one cup of brown rice and a teaspoon of olive oil right here. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put a teaspoon of olive oil and just pour it right in the water, right? Ruby? Yes, sir. Okay, there we go. So we got a teaspoon of olive oil. Now, Father, you add your brown rice. And it doesn't to have to be boiling, right? It just, just put it in there now? Just put it in there right okay. now, so Father. So I'm putting in, uh, this is a cup one cup one cup of brown mm -hmm. rice into two cups of water okay to two cups of water mm -hmm. there we are there and then cover that father okay please father sure so we're going to cover the the rice while it while it boils yes and we've got it set on what setting right now medium it's the medium. Do we raise it up? Mm -hmm. No, sir. Eventually? That's nope. fine. We're, We're just going to keep our eye on it as it cooks. Good. That's very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> while our kebabs are cooking, Ruby and I are going to make our next recipe, and that's going to be the dessert. So we were looking for something fun to do uh, for an Easter dessert, and Ruby had the great suggestion of making baked Alaska. Yeah. So Ruby, why don't you um, why don't you walk us through how 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 are we going to start here? Okay. We're going to start with two eggs, and we're only going to use the egg whites. So that seems like it might be a little bit of a trick to make sure that yolk doesn't get in there. Is there a, tr is there a, a technique? Well, with me, the technique is putting it into my hand. Could you get me that white bowl, Father, please? Sure. This one here? Yes, please. Sure. That's where we're going to put the yolks, the yolks in there. Okay. All right. So let me uh, give it a try here. Yes, so sir. Just, just going to crack. Just put it in your hand, Father. Just do not get any of the yolk in it. Go. Okay. All right. Very so, good. And I'm letting the, yes. the white spill into there. Yes, sir. And I'm making sure that the yolk stays in my hand. Mm-hmm. Give and me the white. There you go. Thank you. And I'm going to put the yolk right in the white bowl. Yeah. Just like that. Just like that. All right. Simple. It's very simple. Now we are going to, with the hand mixer, okay. we are going to whip these up. It takes a few minutes for this to form its peak. When you, when you say form a peak, what do we mean by that? The, the whites will become stiff and they'll form peaks as they're doing now. And about this time, we're going to add the ingredients. Yeah, everybody can see that there. It almost looks like whipped cream the way it comes out. Like that's amazing to think that we just started off with egg whites. Egg whites. Yep. Okay, Father. So we're gonna take the 
which spoon am I going to use here? For You're that? going to use the half teaspoon, which is right here. Put some vanilla. Vanilla. So you just got some McCormick vanilla here, and we're just going to put a half a teaspoon. into the egg white, just like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and then take the other one. Okay, and how much of this? The cream, we got cream, cream of, of tartar. Cream of tartar, and how much of that? You're gonna do the same yes, amount? Yes, sir, same amount. Okay. And then, same amount. Just put it right in there? Yes, sir, that'll be okay. fine. Okay. And then you're going to take a tablespoon okay. of okay. sugar. Sugar. So here's mm -hmm. a tablespoon. Yes, sir. Just put just it put in, that there right like in there like that. Yep. There you are. Oh, okay. Okay, and we're gonna beat it again. So there you are, Father. So try beating it here. Uh -huh. Okay. So just put that in there like that. And, and now with that right here, Father. Right here. Yes. Okay. There you are. All right. All right. So we're just beating it. Uh -huh. Yeah, there you are, Father. How long are we doing this for? We're going to do that for about two minutes. Okay. Get, a, get all of it in there, Father. Yes. The white is a reminder to us of the color for Easter, the resurrection. It's the yeah. symbol of, of the light of Christ conquering the darkness of sin. And I think this is going to be a, a wonderful, wonderful dessert for Easter on so many levels because... You know, the resurrection um, was an event like no other in our faith. The most decisive event in all of Christianity is that Christ rose from the dead. And I think this dessert, as we're going to see as it unfolds, is a reminder to us of the joy and the festivity of Easter and Christ's resurrection. And it's, uh, the resurrection was probably a surprise to many yes. um, who didn't know Christ had foretold his own resurrection. And in many ways, we're going to find, I'm sure, with this recipe that it's got its own surprises, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does, yes. Father. Yes. So, yes. Great. Well, what's our next step in all of this? The next step is to assemble the baked Alaska. Okay, Ruby, the so our next step is we've got a vanilla pound cake, right? Yes. And so we're going to um, take that take that out. All right, we're going to take the whole cake out here like that. And what am I going to do? I'm going to slice it up? Yes, sir. You're going to make two... Nice slices. About that thick? Yes, sir. These two halves. We're going to cut those in half. All right. Okay. And so they're kind of, you can see they're and, small. And, and we're going to place them inside of the ramekins. And these are these are ramekins, and these work great for baked Alaska, right? Yes, they're kind of they ideal because they're small. Yes. And we're just going to fold them over like that? That's correct, Father. Just put them right in there? Mm hmm Okay. Okay. And then we're going to take a scoop of ice cream. Okay, we've just got kind of your, uh, your basic uh, pint of uh, vanilla, vanilla, ice, vanilla cream. ice cream, right? Mm -hmm. Just gonna take a scoop. A scoop. Okay, so I'm just gonna... There we go. How's that? Is that's that, fine. Is that good? That's just fine. Just put that right mm -hmm. in there, like that. Yeah, this is fun. I had my first baked Alaska with Ruby. Um, when she did a dinner for us at the rectory, and yes. it was absolutely out of this world. I had never had it before. Okay. All now right. we're going to take the tablespoon, and we're going to put a dollop, a nice dollop, on each a each table, one of these. Each okay. one of these. All right. So you see, we've got the. This is our egg white mixture that we were working on, and so is that is that a now dollop? Meringue. Yes, sir. Okay. So mm -hmm. we're just going to put it right on top. Right on top, and okay. cover. Make sure it's covered before. It, so when it goes in the oven. All right, you're gonna have to shake it a little bit there, but should I just flatten it like that a little bit? Or? Yes, sir, that'd be that good. good. There we are. Is that enough? Yes, okay. and then. Okay, good. So Ruby, what got you into cooking? What, how did you decide it you wanted to be a chef? Always was a passion. I saw my grandmother and all, my mother and her sisters and I always, being from St. Mary's County, um, my classmates, uh -huh. we would all get together and at Great Mills High School, and for some reason, I always wanted to do the cooking. And my other friends 
that went on to the University of Maryland, I would go up to the University of Maryland and buoy State Teachers College and I did all the cooking for them. Oh, wow. But my first professional job was at the Belvedere with Mrs. Jean Miller and Mrs. Betty Millison. And I'm very grateful to them to this day. It's not great, wow, so wonderful. Our well, next thing is we're gonna put these in the oven, Father. Okay, and okay. how long are we gonna cook them for? Uh, only until, we're gonna put them under the broiler only until the peaks of them turn brown. Okay, Father, I'm about to remove the kebabs mm -hmm. from the oven. Okay, see how we did here. Mmm, those look so good. Mm. Okay, Father, would you Ruby, please? Ruby, grab the door yes, here for sir. you? Yes, sir. Yes, Father. Yeah, Rob. absolutely. Okay. All right, that looks great, Ruby. So we're, now we're going to plate them on here? Yes, sir. We're going to put them on the platter to present them. Here you are, Father. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, yeah. Yes, sir. Those look mm -hmm. nice. So what's great is that while you're working on your other part of the meal, these can be cooking. Right. So we just find this in the grocery store. It's we got some mint mint flavored apple jelly. And we just emptied this jar and put it in the pan yes. here. So we did this for how long, Ruby? Five minutes on low, on a low heat. We made that. A great. And then Father here you are. Flavors. You can just brush the mint jelly sauce. So I'm just using a brush here and am I going over the whole thing? Yes you are. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and just kind of like that. that? Just like that? Yes. All right. So we're just kind mm -hmm. of a light coat. We don't have to put too much on, right? Just a... enough to give it good flavor. We're going to present this in the hostess mother's antique bowl. Yeah. And I'm very, very excited about that. The honored, yeah. The, honored. This is was Marianne yes. Laporte's mother's bowl. Mother's bowl. Yep, that's right. So we are honored. And so we've got a little serving spoon with it, and do guests yes. then put that on their plates yes. to dip it in more. Okay. Okay. We've got it's some rosemary here. Fresh rosemary that Father's going to garnish our presentation with, our meal with, our and how do we That's your choice, Father. So you just, just garnish it. There you are. You do it like that? Yes. Okay. Beautiful. So there we go. We're just kind of just making it look a little more festive with yes. the rosemary and mm. gives it a mm. nice gives it a nice touch. Oh boy, beautiful That's father. Great. Yes. Oh, wonderful. Okay, now we're going to get the rice for you. So here we are. We have our now this is what this is brown brown rice. rice. Okay. Yes. And so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna serve it on the side, right? Just gonna serve it on the, the side kebabs. with the kebabs. This is a great great appetizer. That, great appetizer. Um, you can have for your Easter dinner. Yeah. Now we're about to place our baked Alaskas under the broiler for one minute, just until they're golden brown. Okay, so yeah. Pop them right in there. All right, we're okay. about to take out our, our baked Alaska here. Just a short time in the oven, just a minute. And look at that nice brown on top. Wow. They are ready to serve. Yes. <laughs> and we're ready to eat our meal, uh, our appetizer and dessert. And I'm so happy to have Peter and Marianne Laporte here with us to share uh, in this, this uh, delicious uh, meal that Ruby yes. helped me to make. So uh, yeah. we are ready to dive in. And Ruby, why don't you uh, get us started here? All right. Here you are, Father. Wonderful. I'll so give we've got you our, the honors. Our, um, and you pass kebabs. that on around yeah. to Marianne. Pass them along. And we're serving this family style today. Right. We've got our kebabs, and then Ruby's going to pass the rice. And now we're about to bless the food. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bless us, O Lord, at these thy gifts which we are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Wow. All right. Bon appetit. Well, that was a delicious appetizer, and we're 
we're, we're about ready for our dessert, but I thought before we get into that, I'd love to have Ruby talk about this beautiful centerpiece that she made uh, for our meal. It's uh, called a garmage, is that right, yes, Ruby? Yes, garmage presentation, and it consists of peppers and colored eggs, and it's on a base of cabbage, of green cabbage and purple cabbage, and it's just what a culinarian does in with their meals, and it's such a wonderful uh, presentation for the season that we're in right now. So, and Marianne, I'd like to present it to you Ooh, for, you. yes, for allowing us to film this, you and Peter. So when your grandkids come, you'll be able to share much. it with them. Thank you. thank you very much. Okay. All right. Wonderful. Well, thank you. Yes. Thank you so much, Ruby, yes. for that. And with that, we're going to dive right into our baked Alaska. So yes. really looking forward it's been to it. It's a real joy year. to be here with you all today. I want to thank, um, thank Peter and Marianne Laporte for opening their home to us uh, to make this possible. I want to acknowledge in a special way Peter for filming this for us and uh, to Ruby Lamel, my personal chef. I'm just so grateful to uh, have your culinary expertise. Thank you, Father. And uh, for you to share not only with me and Peter and Marianne, yeah. but to our parish community and beyond. Um, yeah. Just a couple of simple ideas that you can do to make your, your Easter meal festive and enjoyable. And so uh, from St. Francis Xavier Church in Leonardtown, Maryland, I want to wish each and every one of you a blessed and a joyful Easter. Thank you and God bless you.